Hello everyone, welcome back to LabTube. Uh, in this video I'm going to do question, uh, question 7 uh, from section 16.4. The question asks to use the uh, Green's theorem uh, to evaluate the line integral given there uh, along the curve along the positively oriented boundary of the region bounded by parabolas y equals x squared and x equals to y squared. So let me first uh, recall what is Green's term. So Green's term. Green's term says that if you have a vector field and you want to find the line integral of that vector field along a curve with these properties. First, it is closed. Second, it is simple, meaning that it doesn't intersect itself. And third, it is positively oriented, meaning that if you move along that parameterization, that orientation, the region inside the curve will always stay, always stay in your left. So, if you're trying to evaluate such a line integral of a vector field, you can evaluate it using a double integral uh, on the region inside the curve, and the integrand is given by dq dx minus dp dy dA where uh, P is P and Q are the first and second components of your vector. Okay, so Green's theorem in in short it says that to evaluate the line integrals or cl closed curve you can do by double integrals. Okay, so let's see what is everything in our case. So in our case the vector field is given in this integral. The coefficient of dx is p, and it is the first component of my vector field. And the second component is the coefficient of the coefficient of dy. So I have those those uh, the components for vector. Now, what about the curve? The curve is the Boundary of the region bounded by this parabola. So y equals to x squared, x equals to y squared. I have these two parabolas. The region bounded by these two is this. Let's call this D. And then it is obviously the boundary is just this part, yes. First, it is closed, it starts from the point and goes back to the same point. Second, it is simple, simple means that it doesn't intersect itself uh, at any other point than the end points. And the third, to make it positively oriented, I have to choose this orientation. I can either choose this orientation or this one. But now I have to choose this to make it positively oriented. Okay, so I have the curve, and now my line integral is over a curve close, simple, and positively oriented of this vector field. Okay, let me go to my black uh, marker. Uh, okay, Green's theorem says that this is equal to a double integral over the region inside the curve. Um, and what is the integrand? The integrand is partial derivative of second component with respect to first variable. So d of uh, 2x plus cosine y squared with respect to x and partial derivative of a per minus partial derivative of the first component with respect 
to second variable. So partial derivative of first component with respect to second variable. Okay, so this, if I find partial derivative, this is going to be 2 minus 1, which is equal to 1. That's very good. So uh, the integrand is 1. And now to evaluate that inter integral, I have to make it into an iterated integral, meaning that I have to write this region in either uh, type 1 form or type 2 form. Let me do it in type 1. In type 1, I have x going from the intersection of these two and this point. So intersection is from 0 to 1. To, uh, for y, I go from this curve, which is x squared, to the other curve, which if I write in terms of uh, y, it is going to be y equal to index. So it is going to be that. Okay, now I have boundaries. Change this to a traded integral. Go from uh, x squared to root x from 0 to 1 dy dx. Iterated integral, find the inner one, so y go from x squared to root x 0 to 1 uh, dx. Uh, this is going to be root x minus x squared dx go from 0 to 1. Antiderivative of root x, you take it as x to the power half, and antiderivative is half, 1 over half plus 1, which is 3 over 2, uh, x to the power 3 over 2, minus 1 third of x cubed going from 0 to 1. Okay, so then I have to plug in these two in, so this is three, uh, 2 over 3. 2 over 3, 1 to the power 3 over 2 minus uh, 1 over 3, 1 to the power 3 minus 0. If I plug in 0, I get 0. So this is 2 over 3 minus 1 over 3, it is 1 over 3. Okay, so just quick wrap up. I have this, this line integral over this closed, simple curve and I orient it uh, positively, then I can use Green's theorem, which says this line integral is equal to a double integral over the region inside. But what is the integral? Integral is given by this term. I did find a double integral, but to evaluate double integral, I have to go to an iterated integral and just do inner one, outer one, and the value is equal to 1 over 3. Thank you for watching this video, and see you in other videos.